Alright, so sometimes this happens, blue screen of death while playing games. So you have to check the code to see what's the cost. Make sure you take a picture of your blue screen so you can check the code. Normally it's the Nvidia driver because sometimes you have an old driver you need to update. And sometimes you have the new driver and you need to downgrade. Now this is the same as Windows Update. Windows Update, the new version has bugs. Right? So that's why they always update and update to mitigate the new version's bugs. Right? So nothing to fear, Cyber Amos is here. Alright, first you need to do is uninstall the GeForce Experience software because it always gives you the new version and it could be that it is unstable for now so you have to wait for them to release a new version to patch it up. That's why you, if you want to have a stable gaming experience right now, what you gotta do, uninstall GeForce Experience, then you go into this website NVIDIA driver.com so I will just give you this link right on the this in the description below just open it then you scroll down you will see this right this is the uh, to select your version of model of your graphic card all you need to do is just go to start type in device manager there you are device manager here then you will see display adapters just go in here is your geforce uh, model gt620m so geforce 600m notebook 620m and mine is windows 7 64 bit so yeah you need to know your operating system All right so if you don't know your operating system what you gotta do is you just gotta go folders in the folder just right click the computer and properties it is windows 7 64 bit windows 7 here 64 bit all right super easy all right so this is done just start your search just click start search and then it will search all the drivers now you have all these old drivers here so what i recommend is at the top five drivers but you know it's better you check the version review before you install if NVIDIA driver review. Now inside this, just search for two of the review sites or more if you uh, have time. So you just go into this review, that review, and then see their comments if their comments is good. So right now it says that the color strips remain blah blah blah, or they mention blah blah and is there any support blah 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 so all right so view discussion all right so time to install this blah blah here i thought cpu was dying blah 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 there you are starting in full screen reverting back to 39077 now this you could follow this guy or you could just check for the maybe the fifth one because normally i would be lazy to see the new version because mostly they have problems or you can just slowly check yourself I'm quite lazy so yeah 65 there you are just go in here and check in reddit check in guru it's up to you to check one by one if you want the newest version so I'm just gonna check previous call recommended so yeah you could either get this old version or you could just use this so over here they say here we go yes poster blah blah speed s slow okay so it depends on you if you still if you want you can just download whatever version and try it out there's no problem if you still have blue screen just change to another driver or recommend it right here right once you're done just go and get download remember download the driver once you've downloaded here, just go back here, device manager, right click on your GeForce card, uninstall, delete and OK. So this will delete your uh, driver and then just restart the computer and install back this NVIDIA uh, driver that you downloaded. So this is the first step 
and this is the most easiest step so you just need to finish this step and try it out if it works if it still doesn't work and you really tried all of the versions and it doesn't work then it's better you do this this is quite tedious is you have to go to the DDU uninstaller this is quite tedious because you have to download this software right let's go scroll down and you will see this just download it from here then once you've downloaded go to the start type in msconfig right this is the same as on all version of windows this msconfig go to boot safe mode okay then you just restart the computer so I'll just skip this process of restarting the computer to safe mode so once you restart it will show you all these windows files and all this stuff okay don't worry just let it run and then go into the safe mode system alright so we are in the safe mode now right this is quite different but yeah everything is all minimalist so you just go into your folder go into your downloads ddu and then go to ddu here driver uninstaller press run all right so here it is the ddu uninstaller so this is the first thing you need to do blah blah, blah you should back up blah 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 blah, blah. ah don't bother now let's let it all by default just go into here go into gpu go into nvidia then you just click clean and restart highly recommended so this will remove everything all your nvidia drivers the registry and whatnot this will clean up the whole nvidia drivers so just let it run until it asks you to restart yep just let it restart everything once it restarts um, you just go into the ms config and then change it to turn off the safe mode so you don't always go into safe mode all right so we are back in safe mode let's go into ms config and see all right change it to boot normal okay wait then you restart but before that just go to device manager and check first let's go to device manager display adapters all right so it's no more no sometimes it doesn't work so you just need to check before you restart so i'm checking it device manager nvidia driver is not in so what you gotta do is go into your nvidia driver that you have downloaded and just install it like normal then everything will work as usual yeah super easy just go next 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 anyways uh this may be slow because once you've uninstalled nvidia uh, everything is using the cpu so that's why your computer will be slower than usual just install it then everything will be okay if it's not just change the version and then you're done so yeah if you just want to see me installing my driver again continue on watching or you can just uh, like subscribe now and like now before going to another video subscribe now subscribe now like my video comment the video cyber Amos is here famous Amos is here Famous cyber Amos, he is so cyber, he is so famous, famous, famous cyber Amos, so 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 famous, ha 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 ha. Famous cyber Amos, so so famous cyber, cyber Amos, Amos, so so famous Amos. 
Famous Cyber Ramos, he is so famous. Why he so cyber? Because he's famous. Subscribing. Subscribe. 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 Patience is key to success. That is why we win the war. We are patients. GT620. And once you just double click in, go to driver. You will see the version is 2018-9065. Uh, uh, you have to check what is the version. So normally the version should start here. Let's see. Alright. 39065. So. 39065 is this part 39065 there you are okay this is how you read the version that's all so if it works um please give me a thumbs up that is all thank you all for watching famous cyber Amos signing out click subscribe if you haven't click like go to the end of my video and click the playlist in the playlist there are all my videos all at the corner at the right side so, thank you all for watching.